So I'm going to share a poem and then I'm going to bring the heat. Okay. <laughs> so the poem is called the Touch by Kathy Davis. Mothers touch your children, fathers hug them tight. Let them know you love them, morning, noon, and night. Put your arms around them, hold them near to you. Feel the beating of their hearts, the life that you made new. Roll around the floor with them, keys and laugh and play. Listen to what they'll tell you, they have so much to say. Take time to get to know them, see the colors in their eyes, appreciate that person, let them deep inside them lie. Let them run their fingers through your hair and down your face, fill their hearts with words of praise. Make home their favorite place. Cuddle with them on the couch and watch a TV show. Sing with them and share a book and help their world to grow. Take a walk into the park, hold each other's hand, smell the flowers, feed the ducks, build castles in the sand. Mothers touch your children, fathers hug them tight. Show them what a gift they are to let them feel so right. Here's the heat. The only guarantee of chemotherapy is the complete destruction of God's design. Immune system damage is almost universal. A whole magnitude of blood diseases are seen. Thrombocytopenia, severe bone hypoplasia, inability to synthesize fibrinogen, abnormally long bleeding times, granulocytopenia. Heart damage can occur weeks, months, and years after treatment. Over 40% of patients experience mouth ulcers, pain and bleeding. Other problems are candida, herpes, and viral infections. Dry mouth, drooling, painful swallowing. Loss of sensation, muscle pain, weakness, and changes in senses and motor skills are common. Methotrexate causes stiff neck, headache, nausea, vomiting, fever, and lethargy. Paralysis and death are, have even occurred. Reproductive organs can be profoundly damaged, resulting in sterility. Given these almost uniformly bad results, where did the idea originate that chemotherapy is of such a benefit of cancer? One reason is because toxic drugs often do affect a response, partial or complete shrinkage of the tumor. But contrary to popular opinion, this reduction of the tumor mass does not prolong expected survival. Sometimes, in fact, the cancer returns more aggressively than before because killing off 99% of the mass fosters the growth of resistant cell lines. Chemotherapy came out of World War II with mustard gas experiments that remained poison. The AMA routinely condemns natural cancer treatments as quackery, but isn't it time that it dropped its quack busting crusade, replaced it with some open-minded investigation of such methods, so people like my brother can hug his daughter tight morning, noon, and night. Chiropractic works, believe it. <laughs>